Yo, what's going on guys? It's gonna be showing you Briar Stronger's build at the moment for carrying with, and that's to actually go for Collector Rush because it's so cheap and so strong. She already has a lot of survivability with her self-healing on W, self-healing on passive, and healing and damage reduction on E. That she doesn't really have to go for an HP item. Certainly, if you're the only kind of frontline champion on your team, going for a gore drinker or a stride breaker is very safe. But if you have at least one other melee champion on your team, this is gonna be your best build. We're gonna be pushing for a collector and a dust blade into black cleaver 61 percent when you're built so once again collector dust blade black cleaver and we'll be good to go we can pick up tier two boots along the way but we'll be getting free boots and we can coast off that for a while i'll say no leash i three camp into bot lane and we're good to go briar's leash list on raptors is insane because her w gives her auto attacks aoe damage for runes, we have Hella Blades for the Bursting, Sudden Eyeball Treasure Hunter, Free Boots, Cosmic with the double AD and Health. You can go for Attack Speed AD and Health. doesn't make a huge difference either way. So we're, already, we're already gonna have so much Attack Speed from Hella Blades that we can shred down Squishies very quickly, plus Attack Speed from our W. Your W1 is a Dash and Blood Frenzy. Your W2 is an Auto Reset that uh, also does a bunch of Execute damage. Well, let me re-put that. Both W1 and W2 are both auto attack resets. So we'll auto into W here. We hit him with the smite because we want our execute here to chunk. We don't even have to look at ourselves to recast it. We can see when it's about to end. Pretty good idea uh, when to use it based on that. And then we'll hop right over the wall. It looks like we're inside of it right now. We're glitched in there pretty good there. <laughs> it looks so wonky. They have nerfed Briar a decent amount. Her damage reduction on her E starts out at 40%, which uh, all it seems to get to, but still really, really good. 40% damage reduction plus self-healing. used to be all the way at 70 or 80%. Still very, very strong since it has the healing in there. This isn't gankable, so we'll recall for the tri-brush. We'll pick up a longsword oracles. This happens a lot. You can tell your teammates, hey, a three camp and a bot lane gank, and they'll absolutely make it to where you can't gank for it. I mean, it is what it is. In these situations, we grab the long sword, we can fight on Scuttle. We will be level three, and then we jungle could in theory be level four from a Folkler, but we have long sword advantage and we're Briar. It doesn't matter too much. Let's hop over the wall. We are splitting up the clear somewhat. We could simply just do like blue, grunt, wolves, wraps, krugs, and full clear again, but Briar's so strong in the meta that you, you don't really have to try to avoid fights that someone like a Shivana would have to, if that makes sense. Smite of the blue buff, he has more HP than Gromp. Briar's clears are so crazy fast. Like it, it's actually nuts how quick it is. That we will be late to Scuttle here, but we'll be level four instead. Scuttle comes in 330. The enemy jungler gets there late, or even if it's gone, we can just rush second scuttle. Not a huge deal. Bleed should kill right. Yeah, it's close. All right, we'll go top. We're gonna max W first, Q second, E last. E per level just doesn't get enough. It's a good set cone. W for the movement speed and Q auto W reset. Set did end up pinching off the kill. Kind of sucks for us, but we still got the. Uh, still kind of got it what we needed. Push this into the wall for the extra damage. I'm gonna swap aggro here. We don't want to steal his cannon. So now he can back, spend his gold, get his health back. He's not gonna be stuck in lane against someone who has more items than him. He doesn't have TP, so it's really important we help him push wave there. As long as we get our free boot sooner, we still got the treasure hunter. Your Hell Blades interacts really well with auto attack resets because it your Hell Blades is your Three autos against enemy champions are fast. But auto resets don't burn one of those three empowered autos. So auto resets work just fine. You don't have to worry about waste. Go ahead and jump over. W. Auto, auto, Q. Auto, auto. And we're chilling. You can use your E to cancel your blood frenzy. We were fine though. There wasn't any minions we were going to be forced to fight after Diana died there. Super solid going over walls. People don't really expect it. No one thinks of Briar as a <laughs> she like as having one of the best dashes in the game, which it is. It's a dash plus a huge speed up. Kha'Zix and Rengar don't have that off of a single ability, right? On oof, this is bad. 
I'm just gonna have to flash this. This is really, really bad. I'm gonna have to hop that wall W and we're out of here. I wasn't expecting her to necessarily come back to that spot. And even if she was, I thought I was gonna be done in time. The base speed up. You're so fast when you die. Race car right out of base. Let's go ahead, pick up this, and we'll get this. Backed at a really good time, spend all of our gold. We can do Krugs, Raps, Wolves, Gromp, Gank Top, or we can just look to gank for my bot lane. I mean, after what they did, I don't have a lot of faith in them. If you tell your teammates no leash, three camp in the bot lane gank, and they mess, like, they just hard dump wave, it's hard to have faith in them. Diana took my Raptors to retaliate, that's what she gets. Blitzcrank just died, and enemy bot lane's still full health. That's what I'm saying. I don't trust them at all. My Raptors are gone. Her red buff's coming up just the same pace as mine because we kind of started on our red buffs. Maybe we both started wraps into red. So they're, they're both gray right now, which is technically a minute or less. Oh, no. She can jump over the wall by herself if she does it properly. She fucked it up, though. She has to do it near the wall and then hop over. She should have gone to the skinny part of the wall right here. She goofed it. We'll go for her red buff here in a moment. Gonna load this down. I kind of want to get there early. Setting up a big E from brush. Because your E, you typically end up using defensively to block a lot of damage from turret or enemy champions when they're loading you with their abilities. But if you're already in a bush and they're going to walk into you, shooting them into the wall, getting the big stun. It's the biggest CC in the game, level 1. It is... Oh, it's only 1.5. Okay, never mind. It got turbo nerfed. I think it used to be 2.5 or 2 and a quarter level 1. Still, 1 second stun is still pretty freaking good. You're able to land that effectively. Let's pull it over here real quick. We'll go top. I'm assuming this isn't worded, we're about to find out. Launch the R, slightly behind her. Oh, that was a good dodge. She had a really good reaction there. Auto Q, auto W, auto E, because we need to end the blood frenzy. We don't want to run her down underneath her turret. We haven't gotten kills yet, so we're not really fed. Not really fed at all. I didn't think about Gwen using that circle move to dodge my R. I have top prio after that gank, and I also have mid prio because Cat is fed, so I should be able to take this pretty comfortably. I do kind of want to pull it out. Harold used to be worth 300 gold. I think they nerfed it, though. I think it's only worth 200 now. A bit of a bummer. Oh, Cat just got solo. That's bad news. Diana's top side. It's not good news. Assume she had to burn her R for that. Zed is probably going to be a little harder to kill than Gwen. It's a shorter lane to chase. I have crit here. I should be okay. Auto Q. Auto Auto W. Wow, she actually lives that. That's incredible. Okay, we get the kill. That's good. We need something. Get our free boots faster. I didn't have shutdown gold anyways, and I kind of needed to back, so it's not the end of the world. She's probably thinking the same thing. She needed to back. Really surprised we weren't able to do more damage than that. We saved our W for W2 for a really long time for the execute. Uh, I guess it is what it is. She probably has armor in her runes. She's probably got the bone plating as well. With collector, that would have been so much easier. Now we can start playing the game for reals. Pop them real quick. She's not a team at jungler. She's basically a better version of Warwick. She self heals like crazy. She's got burst. She's got shred. She can go over walls. <laughs> no mana cost. She's literally just a way better version of Warwick. They're so similar in the self healing and shred aspect, but then she does everything else 10 times better. I enjoy playing her. You can try doing something here mid. Oh, wait, why is Pantheon here? I don't actually have my E, so this is awkward. Well, now I do. 
My E being down in that fight made it kind of uh, bad. The Herald was also not great. I was trying to use Oracles and my muscle memory kicked in. Overrode the fact that I had Herald. Situation turned out pretty well though. We have free boots now as well because lots of KP. Ooh. We get her with a W, Q, auto W. We had to wait for our W to come back up. She's pretty tough. Let's heal up off of our E. Nice. I'll take her Krux. We could have looked to use an R, but I didn't know if her little circle was up to block all projectiles. I need to get out of here. I had a feeling this was coming. Diana might be on her way. Okay, sure enough. I can launch her over the wall if I need to. Uh, I think I saw an enemy mid lane. It's making me a little nervous. I do have set here to back me up, and he's pretty fed. Q auto. Q is an auto reset, and both of your W's are auto resets. Dragon's up in 27. I'll take blue real quick and reset for that. Auto Q auto, auto W auto. Right into the wall. Ah, oh, still too healthy. My okay, cool. Pants dead. That's gonna stall out dragon a lot for us to get over there. I wanted to get a huge purchase and have blue buff. We also got level up off the blue. Got her plated, and now we want to go for dust blade. So we can rip someone apart pretty much instantly if they're squishy, especially if they don't have armor and health items. And the dust blade pops, everything they're throwing at us, auto attacks, abilities. Uh it will not hit us. We'll be Essentially invincible. It says untargetable. Dust blades bug though with a lot of things that the damage just won't connect. Like they target you, it's on its way, and all of a sudden it won't hit you even though it's already heat sink to you. So well, a lot of times when Riot says something, it doesn't really mean what it says. It's like Fiddle Drain goes through untargetable. Fiddle Drain still affects Vlad Blood Pool or Fizz Troll Pool, but uh I've played Fiddle against a lot of Dustblade, and when their Dustblade pops, obviously not off killing me off someone else, my drain no longer affects them. It's weird. Yeah, Dustblade's pretty cracked. There's two people topside. I'm not feeling it. No clue what Pantheon thinks he's doing there. Hop the wall real quick, going for the W and the Q. I can do more with the gold than Blitzcrank. Supports don't really need gold unless they're a carry support. Also got Treasure Hunter off of him as well. We only need to get it off of Jin now. Get him with an auto Q, W. Well played by the Blitz. He set that up. Jin was so greedy for stepping up. He caught him right on the auto, lined it up. Your R does make a sound when you use it. Now that people are more comfortable playing against a Briar, it's kind of like when people play against Scion. They recognize what his R sounds like, and they typically get out of the way. So you need to think a little bit before you R. You can't just throw it out and expect it to land all the way across the map. It really needs to be well lined up, well thought out. Otherwise, you'll just be wasting it a lot. It's so like here, if I threw it at Zed, he's just going to walk towards his turret before it even hits. Even if it hits him, now I'm underneath his turret, and that'd be pretty bad for us. Ooh, Diana's taking my camps. That sneaky little rat. Who does she think she is? We got to pay back the favor. Hey, friend. I don't think your teammate's coming to help you. Yeah. Here I could pop R, flash W for the movement speed. We need to just get on her. She's going to suicide underneath turret. She should have just suicide. It's not worth her getting turret. I'll leave this for set since he's on his way. Take the can real quick. If I were to wipe this, even though I should, he'd be pissed. Even though realistically he's only going to get one minion. Uh, it would have been very rude for me to take. Ooh. Could shoot my R for this. Hmm, got my W. Oh, my W. I wasn't close enough for the blood scent. That sucks. He's going to slow me. 
Alright. That's lame. It is what it is. It I forget. I think it's like 900 units, so... It's approaching double standard AD carry attack range on your W Blood Frenzy. He was slightly too far away for it to Blood Frenzy there for me to get the movement speed duration. That's unfortunate. Hundred twenty three CS fifteen minute marks. We've been gaking a lot too, and initially we weren't getting any kills. So I'm pretty happy with this. Briar's still hyper meta guy. She's been nerfed in two or three separate patches. Some sizable nerfs, especially on her E, going from 70 or 80% damage reduction down to 40. She's still insane. Whoa, my champion's... Are you guys watching this? Holy crap, my champion glitched off the Blood Frenzy. What is going on here? My word, what is this? Set the turret, my guys. We'll hold on to our Q. Might need that. Hmm. Alright, nice. You can't cancel Briar channel, by the way. Just hop over. We get blood frenzied a bit. But then they walk away and we're fine. Uh, Next thing up is Dragon. One minute. We'll go for that. We'll launch R. Oh, this is bad. Got down my E and we're out of there. Those are the situations where you've got to pull the rip cord and just get out. Blitzcrank almost just juked me. See, because they, they got underneath the turret. Auto Q. Auto W. I couldn't get down my E in time. I think Zed will or should die for that, right? Okay, that, that fight went terrible for us. <laughs> Wait, he's two full items there. I wasn't even a full item. No wonder... That popped him real quick. Got some self healing. He's just so much damage. I know Zed autos do extra damage against you if you're. I think it's below half health, the half or a third. So now we have as much gold spent as Zed. We're about to have a little bit more. Black Cleaver is insanely good because we can pinch off our attacks real quick. We get the thirty percent shred and then pop them with the XQ on W, which is physical damage. Briar's all physical damage, dude, except for E. By no means a primary source of damage in her kit. I don't have R to get to Dragon in time. Kind of sucks. She technically doesn't have any health regeneration, but it's irrelevant. So if you hit anything, you heal. Don't really want to use my uh, E here. Need it for the damage reduction. All right, I'm launching R for this. Ooh, we're gonna spam W immediately. Auto Q, auto, auto W. Got smite on the Zed. He's gonna get W'd here. Nice, my bleed got him. Auto W reset. That's game over, dude. We're way too strong now. It doesn't matter even if they get drag soul. You have to have, I think, an attack speed slow champion realistically to deal with Briar right now in the current meta. A Malphite or a Nasus does wonders. Nasus Wither is freaking brutal for her. And, um,. Malphite's got the knock up, he's got the slow, he's got the attack speed slow. It's pretty tough to deal with as well. Teemo blind's also good, three second blind. So yeah, things like Teemo, Malphite, Nasus. Jax can be annoying, but you just E whenever he uses his E. So he's not really blocking your autos regardless at that point. Teemo blind, three seconds, low cooldown. Very, very frustrating. It didn't used to be three seconds. They kept doing that because Teemo is getting super outclassed by newer top laners. Go ahead and W in. Down this guy. Down my damage reduction. Oh, I'm dead. If I W'd away here, when they were right here, if I W'd, it would have blood sent me back to them. Zed did a good job of getting on me there. Took mostly magic damage. I didn't think Pantheon would have a shield up. I thought it was, that was already on cooldown. He's able to block all my damage. From here, this is the core. You can go anything. When you magic resist, which ends good. Uh, Ma's insane. Like some of these recommended items, they're overly situational. Like I wouldn't say you would typically go for necessarily a Prowlers, although it is good on her. You wouldn't necessarily go for Witsend, although it is good on her. 
I would be more down to go for Ma because of the life steal. We're doing so much physical damage on our autos. I would much rather have the Ma. They're, they have double AP anyways, lots of burst. Oh, it sucks. That's why I see, see these people get kind of, they just get out of the way now. In the earlier days of the Briar release, those hit all day long. I'm gonna W in, Q, auto, auto, W. Got it. W's back up. Dude, she's looking for it. Whoa, she almost found it too. He's moving quick. He's got zeal speed up plus fast boots speed up. Probably has celerity as well. That's uh, things Jins do. Probably cut off Zed here. Uh, we can try our W. Oh yeah, I don't know where he went. He must have gone through the river for Skull or something. I'm not seeing him. Got loads of penetration. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. Kind of vanished. The nice thing about your blood scent is it lets you see people even if they're in bushes. And I'm pretty sure it lets you reveal invisible champions as well. Like a Rengar R or a Kha'Zix R or a Shaco Q invisibility, I'm pretty sure. We'll Q right or W right over. Auto auto Q as he's getting out of my auto range. Auto W reset down to Yos. Gotcha. We're in W immediately. So auto W, auto Q. It's my auto W. Down he goes. If we're already in auto range, we don't necessarily need to use our Q. We can save for when they're kind of getting outside of that. Auto W reset. Launch him away, W into Q. That sucks, I really wanted to finish off the Zed there. I thought I could. I don't know if he flashed out or his dash is back up, but I gotta blow my nose. Apologies in advance. <laughs> so the Zed R, I think we got the Diana R, right? Am I right or am I wrong here? Okay, I'm right. Also got the Zed Ignite. Guardian Angel would be a solid choice. Death Stance would be okay as well. Since you are triple physical with lots of penetration, having some extra armor would go a long ways. Only one crit champ, so it wouldn't really be Randuins. Randuins is an awkward item on this champion. It doesn't give her any damage. Uh, let's shoot it here. I'm feeling it. Oh, baby. Auto Q, W behind him. Auto W. I'm on Dust Blade. We get her with Smite. Put a Q to her. Auto W. I'm a Blood Frenzied right now. I don't want to use my E to cleanse it. Auto Q, Auto W. You run, boy, run. You can do it, Jin. Dies so fast. I have, my, I have a Penta over here. Oh, somewhere. No, she's too far away. I won't be able to get it in time. We can't end here. They're spawning in. Gwen's alive. We'll take Dragon. This is why you need to ban Briar, though. I have not played a flawless game. I've made plenty of sizable mistakes. And she's, she's forgiving. She's so forgiving. You can make mistakes. You can play poorly. And you have tremendous carry potential. It's not like I got loads of kills early on. I was two or three assists before I even had a kill. It's very easy for her to get kills since she has an execute on her W. It keeps the gold away from your teammates. Whew, it's a lot of damage. Yeah, at this point it probably would be Death Stance. It needs to be something that gives armor. Because they got uh, lethality, lethality, double lethality champs. It kind of demands it. We'll launch it right around. We'll launch it there. Oof. Wanted the Gwen. Auto W reset down he goes. Why are we trying to surrender? That's very strange. I'm not even full build yet. It's not like I'm falling off. Plus, Briar doesn't really fall off. Q on him. Auto W auto. Got my E down. Nope, down he goes. 
WQ, auto WE. Oh, I have Ma too. She was never anywhere close to killing me there. She was never. I, I was getting nervous. I forgot I had Ma, and clearly she didn't realize I had Ma. My E was on cooldown. She turned in for the burst. Ma popped. Juicy. I guess I can stay. I have enough health plus green jungle item. We use our E to heal back up. Get that blood frenzy off. I don't want to take five turret shots. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm not feeling it. If they're going to hide underneath their turret, it's really not worth it to me. I'll take the blue. In preseason 14, when you take blue or red buff and you have jungle item finish it, finish, it gives it to everyone on your team. This is season 13, though, what I'm playing on right now. Hey. Auto Q, Auto W. I still have my E. W, Auto Q, Auto W in the E. I'm going to flash that. I'm dead though. Well, yep. Zed played it pretty well. He landed just about everything. Diana comes in, backed it up. It's hard to say what I should do against Zed necessarily. I guess I just shouldn't be up this far by myself. He's doing a lot of damage. If I am going to do crap like this, Holebreaker would be freaking nuts in the butts. Such a good item. He Oh, he had Ignite again. No wonder. My healing. Not, not that strong there. If they had a bunch of armor, we could go for the penetration item. They don't. They're not tanky at all. I don't think we need to do that. Dude, I'd say a hole breaker here. As stupid as that sounds, hole breaker or bork. I think hole breaker would be better though, because I'm already healing so much. This also gives me uh, an option to just split if my teammates are doing crap like this randomly. They're just like randomly net enemy. There's no baron or dragon right over here. This is a non-objective fight for kills. Which I mean, it, it can be justified, right? If you're standing up there trying to pick them as they come to check Baron. But I'm not even over there. And I have the most kills on the team. So we shouldn't be doing those type of fights with our strongest players absent. Oh, that sucks. All the way down there. I don't know if I can even get there in time. Before she kills Set. Before he kills her. I assume she wins that. Guess we'll find out. Launch my R that way and I'll go to fight it this way. Auto Q. I have no clue how she died there. You see a set cone did over half her health. Don't really need to farm. I'm full build. I'm tempted to just go back to the split. Because I know for a fact I could solo any one of them. Especially with Holebreaker. The Zed lethality. Because do nothing he's all lethality items except for Searle that's percent based Ooh, that's dead that's good W Q auto W that hurts that's kind of pissing me off Pantheon's a really good champion for stalling out hyper carries he's an anti carry and a carry he's a carry and an anti carry because of his shield whether it's a master Yi, a briar or a Vigar with 10 million AP. When Pantheon pops his shield, you just can't kill him. We can't end here with where the minions are at. We could probably get an inhib if we didn't go for Baron, though. Blitzcrank should really be the one tanking it. Whoever's tanking does half damage against it. Smite it at 1,000. A little late. It's just how it goes sometimes. They're not all necessarily over here. I want to take their red buff away. I think I can do it. All right, let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Eh, you know I'm full build. Why do I? Why would I back here? I'd just be backing for an elixir is all. Got the top wave pushing in. I'll keep an eye on this. Whoever's the furthest one out is usually the one who gets killed. So we see him there. We're fine then. If there's already two people visible on the map. Cat is about to get a kill. Nice. Yeah, the game's over. Mm. 
Very juicy. Level 14 Diana, my goodness. Down goes Kata. I can't get to this fight very easily. Oh, lordy, here it comes. Down she goes. My R didn't connect. We still get to bash turret. In a weird way, that kind of makes Briar one of the best split pushers in the game because her R is semi-global. Almost like being a better version of Shanna <laughs> in a way. A high damage Shen. This is a strange fight. Oh, we're out of minions here. Zed got away, that sucks. I'm gonna flash out of that, I don't feel like dying. Oh, he died, cool. Zed's still alive though, funnily enough. He's gonna lose his Nexus, he's, he's playing for kill here. He's waiting for someone squishy to step up. That's it. Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. I have a feeling we'll have the most damage, maybe the most damage taken, we'll see. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game, not by as much as I thought we would. Set Cone was doing ridiculous damage. Damage taken, we were not the most in the game, we were number three behind the set, and Gwen self-mitigated will be top four. Wow. Top two self-mitigated. And for the most part, we didn't have a whole lot of armor magic resist up until the end. Pretty happy with that. For runes high value. All in all, Briar is ridiculously broken. She is and should be pick and ban iron through challenger. She's good in every elo. She's good in every region. The only time you don't necessarily want to play her is if your team's already extremely AD heavy. And even then, still a solid pick. If you guys enjoyed this Briar video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out a lot. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.